In this video, I'm going to show you how to create masks to make your Second Life skin creating easier. So you're going to make a copy of your 3D head. You're going to right click and hit rasterize. Then you're going to go to blending options, go to color overlay and turn it to black. And then you're going to rasterize it again. We're going to open up our 2D layer. We're going to find the eye socket um, layer and turn that into black as well. So it's the same process just for the eye socket. You're going to right click, go to blending options, go to color overlay and select a black color and rasterize it. And there you go. So now you're going to take your selection tool, click the eye socket, and then hit control C to copy and then control shift V to play paste in place. And I'm just showing you the difference here. All right. So now it's time to bring our reference in to test it out. So just scale it to fit the head. Now that it's adjusted, you're going to make a copy of your reference, copy and paste, hide the, hide one of them. You're going to go to the mask we created for the 3D head, control click it, and then you're going to go back to your reference and then hit the mask icon at the bottom. Make sure you see those dotted lines around the mask to know that you have selected it. Right. And that just kind of helps clean up along the sides. It's not perfect, but it helps get majority of the stuff hidden. After you're done uh, cleaning up around the edges, we're going to move on to the eyes. So you're going to right click the mask on your reference and hit apply mask. Then you're going to control click the eye socket here and then go back to your reference and apply the mask. Then you're going to control I the mask to invert it so it takes the eyes away. And that's how you just clean up your eyes without having to go with an eraser tool. It just makes it a little faster and easier. I hope this was useful for you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.